I've just finished probably one of the most surreal, slightly dramatic 24 hour periods of my personal life. Um, it's a weird story, but I thought, you know what, I'll do a vlog on it because it's just never happened before. And it's one of those situations where you're like, I don't know how to handle something like that. But so this time yesterday would have been uh, Thursday around, I mean, yesterday it would be seven o'clock. I put the kids to bed, come downstairs recorded a video about the week we'd had, you know, Ollie's birthday, Halloween, all of that stuff. Finished recording, it must have been nearly eight, or oh, might have got the time slightly wrong here, but I basically set it all up to uh, go off on the internet. It was uploading, and I said to Mrs. Sheepdog, oh, I've just had a text, there's a new Pokemon out, I'm going to drive across town and get it, and then I'm going to come back. I'll be out 15 minutes. <clears throat> so I got in the car and I drove across town, um, just parked up, spun the poker stop, did what I needed to do, drove a slightly longer route back, but parked up, and as I kind of sat in the uh, driveway, I started to kind of feel a bit off, and I pressed the, I pulled the, the handbrake, and I put, put the, gear, uh, the gear stick in place, and then I sort of just fumbled a bit, and then went to get out without turning the engine off, and I remember thinking, that's a bit bizarre, pressing the engine button, it went off, shut the car door, lock it, walked into the house and as I'm walking into the house I'm thinking I feel a bit funny and so I looked in the mirror and I couldn't see half my face I was just it was like I was looking and I only it was like I'd see my eye and then just nothing and then I could see like the coats out of the peripheral of of my right hand side so I kind of was like what the hell and I called up to Claire and I covered an eye and I could say, you know, see up to the, the, you know, this point and then beyond, I couldn't see anything. So I covered the other eye, exactly the same, took my hands away. And it was, it was just really surreal. I thought some, some, I felt like a trick was happening and I couldn't understand what the trick was. And I'm just like, what is going on? And so Claire comes in, I'm looking at her. She's got one eye, no, no right hand side of her face. And I'm just like, what is happening? And I'm, I'm babbling at her. And I'm trying to get my words out, I'm trying to explain myself, and it's not clear what I'm saying. And then I started trying to talk to her about, I was trying to describe what I was seeing, and I couldn't pick my words. I wanted to say, it looks like I'm looking through, like, um, a looking glass type, you know, magnifying glass or something. And things aren't blown up, but they're, it's like I'm looking through a piece of glass at them, and it took me forever to try and get those words out. And then... I was trying to say that I was not confused. I can't even think of the word now, to be fair. Um, I was basically trying to explain to her that I'd lost coordination, that my hands weren't doing what I was supposed to be doing, my brain wasn't coordinating properly, things were just, I was completely out of coordination, a, a complete loss. And she's looking at me getting more and more worried because I'm just going to her, the thing, I can't, the, the, like, I, yeah, and, and I'm babbling out words uh, and I'm talking fast and I'm just lost and I can't think of what the words are and she's trying to help me think of the words and even stuff she's saying doesn't make any sense to me so I kind of at this point lost the ability to see properly like I'd maybe lost half my vision and I'd lost the ability to kind of speak and she was like do you want me to do anything do you want me to call anyone and I'm like, I, I, like I'm trying to get my head around what she's asking and I don't think I was particularly with it enough I'm just like no no no, it's fine it'll go I don't know what's going on but it'll go so then being weird and being a bit all over the place I remember thinking well my video must have uploaded now I'll finish uploading that it, by the time I'm done it'll have passed you know I just won't um talk and the problem will go away and so <laughs> I'm trying to finish the upload and I'm texting my friends to say I got the Pokemon I also saw this other Pokemon while we were out blah 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 and I'm like I can't see the, half the text it's going like I don't know what the exact text was but let's say it was I caught the Pokemon all I could see was I caught the p load of blowy gibberish I went around this loads of blowy gibberish and I had to hold my phone to her and say can you read what I've written she's reading out the text and she's saying you've just repeated the same three sentences over and over and then started talking and I'm like well that's not what I typed so then I'm like oh my god so I put that away and then I said to her I really want to get this video up and I was like I don't know what it was I was fixated on it for no reason I think I was just stressing and I felt like just focus on what I'd set out to do my brain wants to do that I'm going to do that so I was trying to put I think I put on it uh, the long week or something like that or a busy birthday week or whatever the, the title was 
every time I tried to write weak, I was writing well or wep, and I kept thinking I'd done it right. I was like, the long week or whatever, and I'd have it in front of me, and I'd be looking at it, and I'd be thinking it's perfectly right, and then I was saving the file, and I was looking back at it and realising it had another letter. It wasn't the letter I thought it was, and I was like, what is going on? And I'm getting it to look at it. She's like, yeah, no, you've not done that right at all. She's like, you should stop doing it, and I'm like, no, I want to do it, and I said, I feel like I want to get this done, and then I'll just be able to switch off completely, but it'll bother me otherwise, and it, it was completely irrelevant, but I was just being irrational, so... I finally, after maybe 15 minutes of battling with it, got yesterday's video up. And to like, I mean, thank you to everybody who watched it, but I, I know that that's such a futile thing to be worrying about. But I was just like, I must get it up. And I didn't put any tags on it or anything. If I, I think it looked, I looked at it again today. I'm not still fully with it, but I looked at it again today and I thought, okay, I did it right. It's on there. It's all kind of you know, normal looking. I was looking at the video and I'm thinking, I look normal in the video. I don't see any problems. So then I sat back and I was like, right, I'm done. And, and by this point, Claire, bless her, had got me loads of like water and, you know, trying to give me stuff to try and, I don't know, pet me, smack me out of it, whatever it was, just food, drink, anything to just make me th be like, oh, I'm better now. Um, and then I just started to feel really bizarre again. And I was losing the speech. I started to feel all weird. Eventually, she was like, do you want me to ring 111, which is our like non-emergency number, you know, 999 is for an ambulance, 111 is for advice. So I was like, yes, we'll ring that. So I don't know why I rang it, but I was like, one, one, one. And then it said, press three for whatever type of call it was. And I was just like, six. And I'm just looking at her like, I don't think I pressed the right number. And then they're rabbiting on about something. And I just hung up, dialed again, one, one, one. And I was like, you're going to have to do this because I'm just like, I, I can't press. They're telling me what to press and I'm just hitting a random, like I'm aiming for there and I'm hitting over here. I've just lost the ability to function. I don't know what's going on. So then they put me on to somebody who asked me a load of questions. And weirdly, because she basically said, what's your name? And I was like, oh, you know, Richard, blah, blah, blah. You know, where do you live? And once I'd rattled off a few things that I absolutely knew the answer to, I then was just talking to her and I was explaining what had happened and I said to her, yeah, you know, at the moment I just feel a bit off. I said, like, my head was feeling really weird all across here and I was starting to just feel odd all over. Like, while we were talking, I was leaning on this arm and I went to rebalance myself and I put my hand down and our sofa's quite bobbly and I put my hand flat down. I couldn't feel anything. It felt like I wasn't leaning on anything at all. Um... I lift my arm up and I was like, I can't feel my right arm. My right arm's gone completely like numb. I said, all I can feel is cold. Everything feels cold. I said, on my left hand, I can feel the warm sofa. I can feel like my beard. I can feel everything. My right hand, everything is completely, uh, there's no touch at all. My arm is just, it's moving. I can see it moving, but it's dead. And she was like, this isn't good. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I know. I said, but I, I, I said, I'm starting to feel fine now. Since answering your questions, I've got quite a clear head. I, you know, I know what I'm saying and I, I know what's going on. You know, my wife's commenting like to the lady, he does seem to be coming back to normal now other than the arm thing. And I was feeling a bit odd. My, my lips had gone really tingly. Um, and she was like, well, I'm going to send, I'm going to send someone out to see you quickly um you know they'll be there shortly and they'll just have a quick look you know take your blood pressure and I thought, well that's that's probably a good idea you know blood pressure pulse temperature just check i'm not hitting a weird fever or something like that so we sat there and i mean i started to feel a bit better i started to things were straightening out my eyesight had started to come back i felt really woozy i felt really sick i'd been i drank some water and i felt like i was gonna vomit so i stopped and i was just kind of sat on the sofa and it took about 40 minutes for the people to arrive. <clears throat> now, we were a little bit shocked because they didn't send... When I, when I was younger, I had an asthma attack. And they sent out this this little old doctor, came out of a bag full of stuff. And he gave me some, like, steroids and uh, an inhaler and took my, you know, my breath and all of this. It was, like, four in the morning and he just came out to do it. And that was, like, that must have been the early 90s. That would have been, like, 1992 or something like that. And I just assumed that's what happened out of hours. But lo and behold, a, a bloody ambulance pulls up outside our house and two massive, like really tall, awesome, really kind people, paramedics came in and they're like, you must be rich. And I'm like, yeah. And I was like, I'm a, a little bit embarrassed that they've sent an ambulance. I don't feel like I need an ambulance. And they said, well, we're here to assess whether you've had a mini stroke. And I was just like, what? I said, no, it's probably a migraine. 
And he was like, well, that's what we need to find out at the moment. He said, we need to start taking your your your, your blood pressure, your pulse, your this, that, and the other. He was like, we want to take you with us into hospital, um, but you know, we, we need to assess first how, how things are and what we need to do. So they took, you know, took my blood pressure, took my pulse, took my temperature, asked me lots of questions, looked at my eyes and everything. And by this point, I was starting to feel normal again. And they said to me, well, you know, you, you, things are, are quite all right. They don't seem too bad. Like everything you've described sounds terrifying. And like they said, if you were, if you, it sort of said to me, if I was over the age of 50, they'd have rushed me straight in no matter what. But they said, you know what, we'll sit for a bit. And they sat and they did their notes and they spoke to us. And I had a paramedic, she like was running her hands down there and saying does it feel differently and this side does feel different from this side this side feels really numb and off and this side felt really normal um she got me to squeeze her fingers and as hard as i could and that feels horrible because you feel like you're hurting someone i had to push my hands against her she had to push against me and i had to try and hold her back and i tested my strength and i seemed to be all right um so after chatting for a bit they said to me what do you want to do you can either go to hospital now because we need to do like a brain scan, we need to do an ECG, or we, and we need to do blood tests, or you can go see your doctor first thing in the morning. And I said to them, well, do you know, I'm mortified that you've sent a paramedic out <clears throat> to even look at me at this time of night with, you know, an ambulance and everything. Like there's far more needy people in the world. I say, I'm mortified. So I will go to the doctors in the morning and see them then. And they were like, are you sure? Because we wouldn't have even given you the option if you were a bit older. And I said, I'm sure, I'm fine. You know, send me in. I wonder what's going on then. It's fireworks, if anyone can hear the banging. Um, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, you know, I'll go to the doctors. So I went to bed feeling really confused. I, like confused because of what had happened, surreal because of what had happened, but I am just generally befuzzled at the moment. My brain was all over the place. My vision was back and my words were back. So I kind of felt like everything else was periphery to that because you know I'm I'm at least sort of 90% or whatever I wasn't gonna you know get any worse than that and if anything we agreed if anything happened I was gonna dial 999 and go straight to hospital I slept through the night um roughly but okay you know got up went to the doctors this morning they were a little bit annoyed that I hadn't gone straight to the hospital they said to me if I'd gone straight to the hospital, they could have done all the tests. It would have been absolutely fine. Um, you know, by now we'd have known what it was and they would have been able to just treat it. But because I've gone to the doctors like a numpty, so lesson learned here, people. Because I went to the doctors, I had to explain to him what happened and tell him all the bits. And he read the notes and he agreed and he, he took the, the blood pressure and the pulse again. And he looked at my eyes and he made me do an eye test and he talked to me and I think he could probably tell that whilst I was I'm happy and I'm talking my normal kind of jibber jabber I, I was I'm a little bit off I've been confused all day on and off um I was working from home I agreed with work they, they said to me I have the day off but I said look I want to work from home I, I don't feel like I need to I don't I'm not trying to avoid being an invalid or anything like that but I just didn't feel like it was necessary so I was trying to write some bits up for them and I was getting my colleague to proofread it for me because I was just like, I'm reading this through and I'm not confident that I've not riddled it with mistakes. Normally I'm spot on, but I was like, you need to check it for me. Um, so I went in, I had my, I had an ECG, which I think I've had one before for like a, an operation, but the woman, she laid me down, she take your top off, I took my top off, laid down. She goes, oh, I'm going to have to shave you, aren't I? And I thought she was joking because I've got you know hair, hairs on my chest. And then, I mean... I, don't think I can really show you, but I've got all these bald patches now over my chest where she basically shaved me with a big razor and put all these ECG things on me. And fortunately, the reading from that was fine. Um, I went, had to go into Stanford for a blood test, the quickest blood test in history. I literally took a ticket, thought I'd have to sit down. I hadn't even sat down and they called me in for it. Um, basically, they've looked at it all and said to me, it's weird, I can't describe what he said. He said to me, at this point, we're just ruling out a stroke. We're ruling it out as an option. Like the, That's their plan. Sorry, they haven't ruled it out. Their plan is do everything they need to do to rule it out. He said, if if I was 50, it would have definitely been diagnosed as one by now, and that was that. But they have a scoring system, and apparently out of seven, like with my age, I'm a two. With the age of a 50-year-old, I go up to like four or five and I'd be in hospital and all of this weird stuff. And I sort of said to him, well, I thought it was a migraine. I was just like, I just assumed I was having a migraine. That seems 
feasible and he was like he said that is potentially a route that it, you know you could look down once you've ruled this out but he said we're working on the thought that it's a, like a mini stroke he called it and I was just like blown away I said well, like, I, I spent I left with the plan that I've, I've had all the tests they could do I've got to have a brain scan um, next week and I left thinking this is insane like I know I'm not the healthiest specimen in the world but I've definitely not that level of unhealthiness that that's a reasonable thing to happen but I have since found out that the injections I have for my uh, testosterone levels um, can cause strokes so I'm like oh for god's sake so I'm kind of like that is something I wasn't aware of. I probably read it and just thought yeah all right I'm not an eight-year-old man um, but it's there that's what it is that's that's kind of that's 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 a, a potential thing and i'm baffled because that was horrific i literally got out of my car having caught an, it wasn't even a, a fancy pokemon i just went out to get the new uh spinder it's got a new pattern on it <clears throat> it's like every month they change and i wanted it um as happy as larry i wasn't stressed they said to me are you stressed were you anxious i was like i couldn't have been more chilled I, everything was done i was just unwinding for the evening and then just my brain decided to flip out um i'm hoping obviously that i go and have the scan and they say no 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 no, don't worry it wasn't it wasn't but i'm just baffled i'm on aspirin for a week now like uh, whatever i've got to take four aspirins at once every morning for the next five days while they wait for the scan to happen just because that's supposed to avoid it happening again but it all just feels really, really surreal and mental. And I had to laugh because I rang my mum to tell her all about it. And uh, she basically heard my story, heard the fact that I was having four aspirins at once, said that was too many at once, turned to my dad and went, Richard came home yesterday feeling a bit sick. He thought he was having a stroke. The doctor's given him some aspirin to sort his head out. Um, is 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 uh, four at once too much? And I'm shouting in the background to my dad like, I didn't think I was having a stroke. I thought I was having a migraine. Like she's gone to him. The bearing in mind, I've said the other day in my video that this is the man who chiselled through his own leg, and didn't care. She's now told him that I basically came home feeling a bit woozy and decided I was having a stroke and went off on one. And I'm like, no, I think it was a, just a severe headache. The doctors have gone down that route and they've given me aspirin for blood thinning, not for painkilling. And she's in the background getting his advice on painkillers. And I'm like, oh, for goodness sake, like it's not an ibuprofen or a paracetamol. This is to make my blood waterier. Um, so I had to text him and have a chat with him. That that definitely has perked me up in the day in general for the the sheer hilarity of she listened to this i don't think i told it any quicker than i've told it to you guys but she listened to it all and basically just <laughs> completely threw me under the bus to my dad um but it's just been weird i'm i am in shock to be honest i'm in shock i feel really f flustered by it all i'm looking forward to doing the podcast tonight because i think like kev anna and pab just mocking me will kind of back me up a bit um i just feel really bizarre I'm on kind of watch, obviously, in case I start having it again and go blind. So, again, I'm I'm, bl I'm glad I'm talking to them and I'll notice if my, my voice starts going funny or whatever. But I belted this out and it doesn't seem to have been too bad. Um, but, yeah, sorry for the overly dramatic video and the slightly longer one. But this has been such a weird 24 hours. I just... I thought I was kind of getting back on top of health stuff and here we are out of the blue a bit of a just a bit of a smash I don't know so yeah I, I'm gonna wrap up obviously any questions ask away I'll happy to answer them um, I don't think I missed anything out from my story I wrote notes um, so I didn't miss anything because I'm trying to straighten out in my own head so much has happened but um, yeah I don't know if you are ever having those jabs be careful because if it is that I'm not, you know, not going to say, oh, I should have been more. If it is that blooming neck, that's something I need to discuss and figure out. But if it's not that, and uh, you know, it's just migraines or whatever, they're still pretty grim. It was a horrific experience. Um, I don't like the fact that it seems that they're quite far ends of a spectrum. But the doctor was firmly here while I was firmly there playing it down. And he was like, no, 
if you get any more symptoms go straight to A&E um, so yeah anyway I'm going to wrap up because I don't want to waffle too much thanks for watching um, your usual stuff I feel it feels odd saying subscribe like and comment um, just just comment give it a thumbs up or like I appreciate thumbs up on this is quite hard but feel free um, and yeah thanks I'll see you over the weekend I think I'm taking Ollie to play Pokemon over tomorrow depending on how I feel um, otherwise I'll film on Sunday whatever we get up to cheers